Early this morning, another cruise ship needing an escort into the St. John's Harbor. The second this week, the Regent Princess squeezed in on Tuesday, which got us wondering about how large vessels like these actually make it in. We're here at Wharfside on Harbor Drive. It's just after 6 a.m. Thursday morning. We're gonna head out with these guys to guide in one of the last cruise ships of the season. Well, these are the sea pilots who do the escorting. Engineer Vladimir Tikhomorov, Captain Charlie Annenson, in training as Noah Pittman, and Master Mariner Paul Keane. Keane has been guiding ships through the Narrows for quite some time. This year is my, my 16th year as a pilot, so uh, yeah, this, there's a lot of uh, different uh, types of ships. It's not only cruise ships, there's uh, cargo ships. Um, and the tanker is coming in this afternoon for Irving. With many boats on the water on this perfect September morning, it's all about the albatross off in the distance. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Wow. It'll be Keen and Pittman who will jump aboard, then drive it between Cabot Tower and Fort Amherst and park it at the wharf. After a week on the Atlantic, Keen says the crew will be happy to see them. Thank you, Mr. Pyle. Good morning, Mr. Pyle. You know, and, and, you know, they're, they're, they instantly relax and, uh, and, and they freely give you control of their ship. Especially in a small place like this, you know, they're probably a bit anxious about, uh, you know, it's the narrows, it's called the narrows. And, yeah. uh, you know, for a reason. And with the morning sun comes the albatross. She's arriving from the UK's Isle of Sicily. Keen and Pittman both ready to board. A thousand crew and passengers happy to see them. And we're helping them, you know, and I guess getting their ship in and getting it tied up to, to the dock safely. And yeah, once we get on board, then it's, you know, right to the bridge, right to the, to the, the wheelhouse. And uh, there'll be, uh, we call it an ex uh, information exchange. The, the, the master will tell us uh, details about the ship that are critical. So with that, Captain Kane and Captain Pittman board the Albatross. If it weren't for people like them and the captains aboard the pilot vessel, the thousands of visitors who make it into St. John's on ships like the Albatross would have a difficult time doing so. But it's a quick turnaround for them. They'll be helping a cargo ship later this afternoon, and that's before helping the Albatross back out to sea. Kenny Sharp, CBC News, St. John's.